Hello all, welcome to 47th Java programming tutorial on netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya and in this tutorial we will learn about introduction to socket programming. So socket programming in Java is a very important concept as well as for the network programming concept as well. Now Java networks programming support the concept of socket. The socket identifies an endpoint in a network which take place via a protocol. Socket communication can be used for the Java input output system to other program that may reside either on this machine or on the other machine which is called as server. Now let's take an example from this diagram. Suppose the source this which is our computer consists of an IP address 192.168.1.200 in which we want to send the data to the destination which consists of different IP address which is 192.168.1.8. Now the point to be note here is the source IP address consists of a source port which is 15678 which bind which act as a tunnel to transfer the data to the destination from the for the different port which is 8888. So socket help us to communicate and to transfer data from source to the destination. Now let us understand about the TCP IP socket. Now TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol. These sockets are used to implement a point to point reliable bi-directional stream based connection between host and the internet. There are two types of TCP sockets which are available in Java. The first one is the TCP IP client socket while the other is the server socket. Now as you can see from this diagram, multiple clients can be connected to the server via a medium which is at the internet. Now let us understand about the TCP IP client socket. Now the, this socket class which is available in the java.net package is for the client socket. It is designed to connect to the server socket and initiate the protocol exchange. Now there are two constructor which are used to create the client socket. The first constructor is the socket constructor which takes two parameters. The first one is the string host name while the other and is the port number. The point to be noted here is this constructor will throw an unknown host exception as well as the IO exception. While the other socket takes the two parameter, first one is the inet address object while the other is the port number in the form of integer. This will throw an IO exception. Let's take an example of uh, this server socket. Now the server socket class which is available also available in the java.net package is designed to be a listener which want to wait for the client for the connection before doing anything else. Now this server can be assigned remotely or in our local machine itself. So when we create a server socket it will register itself with a system that have an interest in the client connection. The syntax for the server socket is server socket which will take the port number and it will throw an I exception. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. In our next tutorial, we will create our first Java socket networking program. So thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or doubt, please do let me ask in the YouTube comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.